Museo Orlina in Tagaytay City is a grand reflection of Ramon Orlina's passion to create beautiful sculptures from glass, the medium that has made him shine in the art firmament. Overlooking Taal Volcano, the museum includes amazing pieces like rich harvest in Banawe, a large amber-colored glass sculpture depicting Belita II, a cast bronze sculpture with a honey patina depicting a female torso arching backwards, imitating singer Belita Corales' famous waist bend. Apart from sculptures, Orlina's glass works are also featured in jewelry pieces. It is also here that one can see that the artist hand-painted vintage cars as well as his collection of toy cars. The museum is a testament to the great artist's body of work. Drawing from his experience as an architect, Orlina chose to create sculptures from glass which he felt at the time had most potential in expressing his visual imagery. Exploring forms through glass collets or crystal blocks, the artist continues to exploit their translucent quality and smooth finish produced from months of reshaping and grinding. Although Orlina is known for his remarkable glass pieces, the renowned artist continues to be curious and creative, venturing into other mediums and evolving as an artist while drawing inspiration from various things around him. Actually, I started uh, architecture first because that's what I studied in architecture in UST. And then afterwards, I went into glass painting and Later on, after one year, I went and moved to the doing sculptures. Sculpture because it's near architecture and painting. Then uh, I started developing the technique of doing the sculpture in glass. And that's how I started. And that's what I've been doing for the past 40 years. Starting with architecture, which they say is the mother of all arts, you know. So, malaki malaking influence sa akin ng architecture and also influence ng architecture sa aking trabaho because ang architecture is science and art. When I do my art, I uh, sometimes really don't think of uh, a team. Karamihan ng trabaho ko is mostly abstractions. In creating good art, I think it starts with originality. Kasi, if you copy from anybody or masyadong influence ng somebody, then you're not creating a new art. It must be a creation which is really what you can call your creation. Then I think that will be good art. 